Hello, today I'm going to show you how I uh, find the resonant frequency from my uh, Tesla coils. Uh, here you see the Tesla coil. There you see uh, a coil from a relay. And it's connected to a power supply uh, at this moment giving 10 volts. So uh, when you energize the coil you will get uh, output like this. I will show the pictures in the end of the movie so it's uh, much clearer. Uh, so we're gonna start now. Uh, we're gonna push the run button so the memory is empty. Uh, we push a single because we want just one single sine wave. Go to the switch and we switch it on and then you will see we get the sinus. Then we can measure uh, the frequency. I'm gonna change this one. Normally it's already foreseen. So you see over here that the frequency that I've measured, I hope this can come clear. No. So I will add the photos. Uh, but now you know how I uh, determine the resonant frequency of this Tesla coil. I will make a second part and there I will use another coil so you will see there's a difference between them. So we are back with part 2, the other uh, Tesla coil. This one has a wire of 2.5 uh, square millimeters and the other one had uh, 0 0.75 uh, millimeters. I have two connections over there, this connection is for the earth ground. Um, so this is the sine wave of the new um, test. So I'm gonna delete it and we're gonna single and we're gonna control the switch okay so now we are going back to measure uh, the frequency and we're going to adjust okay it's just like the previous test and this one is around 710 uh, kilohertz I will add the picture so thank you for watching and